had not heard it, yet she wished that heaven had made her such a man. She thanked me, and bade me if I had a friend that loved her, I should but teach him how to tell my story and that to her. Upon this gift, I explained, she loved me for the dangers I had passed, and I loved her that she This is a, a full spectrum camera. It sees into the ultraviolet and infrared. Oh, so it's wow. kind of a wide. Wow. Hey. Oh my God! Look at this. Chase. Chase is there with coffee. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, oh my God! God. Oh, that is dead. Period. Yeah. That's, oh, it doesn't show, we just close. Yeah. I keep it's it's the whole thing right. about she keeps her money in a Chase and Sanborn camera. Are there any dress in my picture? Hmm. Can I get one? Yeah. Your high independence only reveals the immeasurable distance between us. The blessings in which you this day rejoice are not enjoyed in common. The rich inheritance of justice, liberty, prosperity, and independence bequeathed by your fathers is shared by you, not by me. The sunlight that brought light and healing to you has brought stripes and death to me. This 4th of July is yours, not mine. To them, this government has no just powers derived from the consent of the governed. To them, this government is not a democracy. It is not a republic. It is an odious aristocracy, a hateful oligarchy of sex, the most hateful aristocracy ever established on the face of the globe. An oligarchy of wealth where the rich govern the poor. An oligarchy of learning where the educated govern the ignorant. Or even an oligarchy of race where the Saxon rules the African might be endured. But this oligarchy of sex, which makes father, brothers, husband, sons, the oligarchs over the mother and sisters, the wife and daughters of every household, which ordains all men sovereigns, all women subjects, carries dissension, discord, and rebellion into every home of the nation. Webster, 
Worcester and Bouvier, all define a citizen to be a person in the United States entitled to vote and hold office. The only question left to be settled now is, are women persons? And I hardly believe any of our opponents will have the hardihood to say that they are not. Being persons, then, women are citizens. And no state has a right to make any law or to enforce any old law that shall abridge their privileges or immunities. Hence, every discrimination against women in the constitutions and laws of the several states is today null and void, precisely as is every one against Negroes. Thinking about bringing uh, Civil War period um, uh, musicians mm -hmm. to perform with uh, period instruments here on stage to see if that sort of amps up anything, strikes up a chord, so to speak. Yeah, I've used music before in other investigations, and it seems to like draw out activity when you play something that's somewhat related to the environment. You guys haven't played since 1983. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> we played 1983. <laughs> mm. We might have. Wait, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Let's see, that would be a year before I came to college. And, uh, yeah, okay. So, Danny, yeah, got the symbol for 100 bucks. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
There's a pretty interesting picture back there, Joe. What's that? There's a bigger, pretty interesting picture back there. Is there? Yeah, a guy in a top hat, frown on his face. I heard that that's what they see there. I saw the shadow figure out of the corner of my eye as I was coming uh, back towards the stage from backstage. Uh, when I went to see where it came from, there was nothing but a wall and then stairs leading upstairs to what looked like the rafters. About two weeks ago, I came, I was headed to the theater, no one was here, and this kid who's been sort of volunteering here had come over unbeknownst to me and was sitting on a loading dock waiting for someone to show up so he could get in the building. And then I walked in the stage door and it's coming through and I noticed that the loading dock doors were wide open and I was like, oh God. You know, and then I walked on the stage. The building is completely dark and here comes this kid, Jacob. And he said, yeah, I said, how'd you get in? How'd you get those doors? What? And he said, well, I was sitting on the loading dock, and all of a sudden, the doors opened, and someone said, come on in. And he came in, and there was no one in the building. And he had walked through the whole building looking. No one here, and he didn't know how to turn lights on, so the lights were still off. And that's when I came in, and they're like, there was no one here to open those doors for him. Hello. Good hand, Joe. Guys, I'm getting really chilled out down here right now. Something's going on. Is there anybody here right now? I can feel you. Who's here right now? I can feel you. Now it's gone. That was crazy. I mean, it's again that really intense. Can you felt a cloud of energy around here? It's that really chilly electric thing. Mm. I wasn't paying attention to this. I had it down under my It was halfway up. Halfway up. I hit it halfway up. Was it open when you walked through? Did you go into the catacombs too? Not yet. Because that door is open too. It's always open. No, like the bath. The door in this bathroom to the catacombs. And the water is not running anymore. Do you want to pee in the girls? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it opened that door and went down into the catacombs. Um, Since both doors are open. Just the way you see over here. Here, hold my meter. So that's two doors that were open.
apparently three people died in that incident in this building, and one of them was a child. Let's talk about those two boys again. Mosier? What was his brother's name? brothers. One was named Mosier. Is that you? Say your name. It feels like something's standing behind me. Are you too scared to tell me what your name? Some 